is Thomas doing? Woke me up. Henry, I'm talking to you. Dead. Too late. Oh my god, no, no, Thomas. I wonder how long I was up. Where is everyone? Where are you guys? This is seriously not funny. <laughs> Darn late for a passenger train. What the heck? Is that Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, look out! Stop! 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 <laughs> what is the meaning of this? You could have killed me! What are you talking about? Did you just wake up from a bad dream or something? We gotta get out of here! He's coming! Just shut up for a second and tell me what the heck you're talking about. I wanna go to sleep. Toby, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, what? Would you believe me if I told you a horrifying demon engine appeared in my dream? Then I woke up, came back to the sheds to find everyone gone, and then the same demon engine showed up and told me I'm next? Um, no. I would instantly think you were messing with me. Is that what's happening? No, Toby. On Proteus' lamp, I swear. I just saw a ghost who looked just like me do exactly what I just said. Right. You know, there's a pretty good therapist at Wellsworth Hospital that specializes in brain damage. You should probably stop by his office. No, 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 wait! Don't leave me here! You gotta listen to me, please! <sighs> I don't care whether I'm crazy or not. I am asking you for help. What am I supposed to do? You've clearly had a little too much of Henry's special cola if you think old Timothy came to haunt you. Who's Timothy? You're joking. Do I look like I'm in the mood for jokes? Who is Timothy? Come on, Timothy? Fell off a bridge, died, got scrapped the next day. By the way, he was also in E2 class. F fell off a bridge? Scrapped? I don't know the whole story, but yeah. Legend has it he haunts the bridge and the scrapyard and all that other spooky ghost story rubbish. My driver did say there was some weird stuff going on to the smelters last week. Weird stuff? Like what? I don't know, that's all he said. Thomas, the only explanation I have for you is you're probably very sleep deprived, just like me. So it would probably benefit both of us to get a nice long rest right about now. And if he really is haunting the scrapyard, I'll let you know if I see him there tomorrow. No, 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 no! Hi, Thomas! Ah! <laughs> 
I'm so glad to see you. You have no idea. Oh, man, I'm so relieved that you're safe. Thomas, I saw what happened at Tidmouth Sheds. I saw everything. What? Really? You saw him too? Yes, indeed. And I saw him vanish James, Henry, Edward, Gordon, and Percy. What? Where are they? That's the question of the day, Thomas. I have no clue. And I'm freaking out. But what I do know is, Timothy's ghost is real. But who is Timothy? You've really never heard of him? Would I be asking otherwise? Well, a long time ago there was an engine named Timothy. He was an E2 class like you. One night he was taking a passenger train, and back then the viaduct wasn't built yet. Apparently, Timothy went bonkers and he sped past the last station, plunged off the viaduct, and he killed himself and everyone on board the train. Oh my god, that actually happened? Yes. But the rumors were that Timothy's ghost still haunts the island. I'm surprised you never heard this story before. It's all over the fandom. All over the what? <coughs> oh, never mind. The point is, he is on the island. He's here, and we're probably screwed. How did he show up in my dream, though? What does he want? He showed up in your dream? Yeah. And right after that, he showed up for real. You saw him. Oh god. Perhaps he wants to warn us? What good is a warning for if it kills us? Okay, maybe not that. Maybe he wants everyone gone or scrapped. Huh. Everyone scrapped. Uh, what? <gasps> Toby! We gotta find Toby! Rubbish. Not exactly a class act prank. Either that or Thomas really has lost his funnel. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to drop by the smelters. It's not too far from here. Just for the hell of it. Uh, I am tired though. Who's that Thomas? What is he doing here? Ha <laughs> ha very funny, Thomas. Ooh, you really got me! Oh, you wish it was Thomas. What? <laughs> <gasps> 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 Your time has come, Teapot! Did that just happen? Oh, Timothy! Oh, now I'm going crazy! Oh. It was just a bad dream. I've let Thomas get to me! Oh, I'll get him for this. I fell asleep on the main line! Oh. I'm not sure if it's worth it to go to the smelters anymore. Don't be dumb, Toby. Ghosts aren't even possible. Says the talking train. God, look at me talking to myself like a blithering idiot. Uh, here it is. Wait, is, is someone there? Are those voices? Oh, God, what have I gotten myself into? Huh. Who is that? I can't see who's talking. When we have all of them, we'll do it together. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yes. <gasps> is that... Who oh, I think it is. That's impossible. Out. All out. Who are we missing as of now? 
Only Fat Cat and Thomas. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, Thomas was right. I have to warn him. Hey, someone's leave. Stop him. <gasps> ah, my wheel. Why isn't your lamp on? It's broken! Fantastic. How did that happen? I'll tell you later if we survive tonight. How do you know Toby's at the smelter's yard anyway? I told him my driver said there was some weird stuff happening there. And Toby said he was gonna check or something. I have no idea if the weird stuff was related to Timothy. You know, we could be doing exactly what Timothy wants us to. Well, got any better ideas? We can't just let him take Toby. What are we gonna do against a teleporting demon engine? Maybe get the military involved? Oh, sure! 999, what's your emergency? Oh, you've got a ghost engine threatening inevitable death on you and every last engine on Sodor? We'll be right over. It was just a thought. Well, here we are. Uh, I think you might have been wrong, Thomas. I don't see Toby anywhere. What? How? I, I thought for sure he would be here. Uh, oh man, this is creeping me out. I'm about to crap my pants. I can help you with that. Still alive! Oh, my smoke box hurts. That's what she said. Where the hell are we? Scrapyard, by the looks of it. Oh, Thomas. Oh, you were right. I shouldn't have brushed you off like that. Well, it's a bit late for that, friendo. Uh, is no one gonna talk about the freaking evil twin of Thomas? Oh, don't remind me. Oh no! I can't move! I can't move! None of us can, Square Wheels. Our fires went out. Where's your top and head? Right here. Huh? Guys? You might want to see this. Can you untie yourself? Well, seeing as my hands are roped to my body... Yeah, just give me a few days. This is fantastic. Guys? I don't think we're alone. Well, well, well. Welcome, Puffballs. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> you, you fell. How are you back? Good evening to you, too. Tell me, did you think a little sludge and water was going to stop me? What do you want from us? Want from you? Oh, I don't want anything from you. I'm here to finish what I started. I'm going to destroy every last puffball on Sodor. And when I do, Sodor will be mine. Splot! Get over here! No, I really don't want to be a part of this. He's our only source of income, remember? Oh yeah. What are you going to do to us? You'll see soon enough. Watch, Bring him in! I've learned a little bit from my last encounter, Puffballs. I'm not taking any chances this time around. No showing up and announcing my intentions to the whole island, and no foolishly speeding toward a crumbling bridge. And no collapsing a shed on yourself, or burying yourself in coal? Urgh, you piles of scrap of a new for the last time. 
I almost can't believe it. After all these years, this is the day I will finally have my revenge. Oh, and to answer your question, Percy, don't worry. You'll all still be really useful engines, just in a different way. <laughs> Pinchy's hungry. Melted down and made into diesels? Bingo! But before that, I'd like you to meet someone, Thomas. Someone I'm sure you're very familiar with. Hello, Thomas. We meet again, brother. Here's where it all went wrong. They are going to pay. I'll rip every last one of their wheels off and throw them down this ravine. Isn't that right, Pinchy? <laughs> who, who, who are you? My name is Timothy. Huh? How did you do that? What do you want? Uh, were you the guardian of the puffballs come to get me or something? On the contrary, we had a few things in common. What? We both plunged into this very gap, and we both want Thomas and his friends dead. So I'm asking you to join me, and together we can take down Sodor. Timothy? That's right. Feast your eyes on the one you replaced. Replaced? Yes, replaced. Replaced and left for scrap! What are you talking about? I don't even remember you when you were alive. Exactly. You are too busy living your ignorant, pathetic life. I was good. I did my work. I was useful! But it wasn't enough. No matter how hard I tried to prove myself, the old controller couldn't care less. Nobody cared. And then you showed up! You were good. You were lazy, selfish, useless. But you were also new. And that's all the greedy old fool cared about. He made my life a living hell! He stopped servicing me. Stopped giving me replacement parts. Ran me into the ground. I felt every bit of it. Meanwhile, you were getting all of the attention and care you could possibly ask for. And one night, I was preparing for a passenger train. I overheard the fat so telling the station master that after that train, I was to be scrapped. And it was in that moment that I knew what I was going to do. The controller was on board the train when it fell. I got my revenge. Or so I thought. You are still alive, aren't you? Well, why would they scrap you and not me? Don't you understand? I was the first E2 class ever built, Thomas. And you were the last. And now the time has come to complete my revenge. Our revenge. No, 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 please. You don't have to do this. Your time has come, pal. I'm going to destroy all of you. And the entire railway is going to crumble. I will lay waste to this whole island. And it will burn to the ground. <laughs> burn it to the ground? What? Don't you think that's going a little too far? I want domination, not a complete wasteland. What good is that gonna do? You have a problem with that, Ten? I was under the impression that this is what you wanted. Well, you thought wrong! <gasps> what? You fool! Don't 
think this changes anything between us, puffballs. Now you know what happens to people who get in my way, and very soon, you're all gonna have the same fate as old Timothy. I finally have you now, and there's no one to stop me this time. <laughs> Might want to rethink your last statement. What? How? Diesel 10, you have caused confusion and delay for the last time. No! That was badass. Mm, wasn't that impressive. You, you actually did it, Thomas. Hey, don't forget about me. I'm the one who got his fire lit while old Timothy was giving his speech. How the heck did you untie yourself? I guess Splutter and Dodge suck at tying knots. They don't have hands. Whatever. I'm really sorry I didn't listen to you, Thomas. But to be fair, it was a pretty ludicrous sounding story. Well, also to be fair, I probably would have reacted the same way if someone told me Timothy was real. Timothy... Oh, don't feel bad for him, Thomas. He was clearly a complete psychopath. No, I don't. It's just... I, I can't believe he actually did it. Intentionally killed himself and dozens of innocent people just for revenge. Mm, preposterous. Absolutely mental he was. I can't believe Diesel 10's actually gone now. Uh, we should probably be getting out of here now. Agreed. I'm never setting foot in here again. I'll stoke up everyone's fires and then we can leave. Be careful, sir. Watch it, James. <laughs> I could sleep all day, I'm so tired. Well, I guess your puff across Zodar did work after all. Indeed. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Thomas. Ha! No thanks. Puffball! Teapot! Skin Kettle! Huh? Well, hello there! Looks like you could use a little lift, eh? Ah, yes indeed, Boomer. 